To be a hero, it is not enough to be talented. There are other determinants. A hero, in fact, is made by people, government, and media. When all of those want someone to be popular, a hero is born. When they decide to bring down the hero, it is even easier, because those ones who are jealous will help. This is everything the latest movie by Faraday tries to elaborate. The rise and fall of a prisoner named Raim, who owes 150 million tomans, about $10,000 to his ex-brother-in-law, the husband of his ex-wife's sister. He is now on leave for two days. He has a sympathetic girlfriend. She has found 17 coins at the bus station. They decide to sell them, give the credit to half of his debt and some checks to pay off the other half, and satisfy the creditor in order to free Raim. But everything went wrong desperately, and Raim had to go back to jail with notoriety. At the gold dealer, the calculator didn't work, the pen didn't write. As Raim later said, he considered them as signs to return the coins to its owner. But the creditor thinks differently. He's pessimistic about Raim, tells everyone Raim is a hypocrite. He returned the coins because I didn't give consent with that amount of money, and demanded to hold it. This is the moment our new hero begins crumbling. Shortly after, the triangle of government, media, and people is established again, this time to disgrace him. Who is Rahim really, a hero who honestly looked for handbags on it or a villain who designed a cunning plan to be pitied? We don't know and Faraday doesn't tell us. The only thing Faraday gives us some facts is where his stuttering son sits in front of a camera and a prison authority makes the boy explain what happened to his father. They want to create a pathetic image of Rahim by misusing his son's disability. At the end, Rahim regrets and asks the prison authority to delete the video. Here is the nice part of Rahim. He is the real hero. The labyrinth of lies draws all of us inside. Raim's small lies convince others of the big lies attributed to him. He didn't tell his girlfriend found the coins, and this negligible detail causes him to be considered a deceitful liar. Everything here is immoral, even the morality, because it's superficial and in fact is repeatedly exploited to justify selfish behaviors and intentions. In the charity, for instance, Barham is told Raim will be out with this amount of money because the court will stagger the rest of his debt. Then Barham agrees to give consent, but in a tricky way, says to others, I agree because of his poor kid. Faraday continues this darkness until completely disappoints us. Then we learn there is a possibility of that the real owner is a thief. It's the cruelest thing this labyrinth can end in. About Ali is still my favorite film of Faraday. We sympathize with Sepide in the scene she lies to Ali's fiancé. Feel the burden she must carry. Know that we would do the same if we were her. But in the case of Rain, the story doesn't go this simple. We are suspicious of his proposed indecision and meaningless smile. Perhaps no one condemns him, but no one sympathizes with him either. The movie is filled with many details and the viewer is likely to miss them. We are sick of all these details which depict a corrupt society. And at the end, the prison is a shelter. A relief. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to help me improve my channel.